Hey guys, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. My name is Danny Burke. I hope you guys are well. And today we're going to be talking about some of those weird and wonderful species that have been found on this crazy planet of ours in recent years. So far, humans have identified and recorded about one and a half million species, but that is just a drop in the ocean to what's actually out there. Some scientists actually estimate there could be up to 8.7 million different species on the planet. But the good news is, is that they seem to be popping up more and more every year. So we're going to talk about 10 of those most recent recent ones and jump right into this with our number 10 which is the Yoda bat. Give you one guess, I will, about where the Yoda bat got its name. Yep, that's right, it kind of looks like the Jedi Master Yoda. Its real name is a nice teeming tube nosed fruit bat and it lives across the Philippines, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea and its discovery was officially announced in 2009. When its discovery was announced the internet went wild for it, everyone was saying how cute it was and they were looking at its pointy golden ears and its cute little eyes and I can't even look at it because it's that cute. So let's just move on to our number nine. And now we've got the Yeti crab. Just look at this thing. It's literally a six inch long, totally blind, furry crab. Its official name is Kior Hursuta. But don't let its Yeti name fool you. This thing lives as far away from a mountain as you can possibly get. The first specimen of it was plucked from the icy ocean floor near Antarctica at a depth of eight and a half thousand feet. And I personally think it was probably absolutely fine being left down there at the bottom of the ocean, but yay, humans, bring it up, poke it, record it. Woo! At number eight, we've got the Dracaena Kawasaki Dragon Tree. It was discovered in Thailand in October 2013 by scientists in the limestone hills there that are thought to be the only place where it grows. It's characterized by its long branches and soft sword shaped leaves of stark orange and white. One of the most astounding things about this tree is that it actually grows to an amazing 12 meters in height, which makes me wonder why we didn't spot it any sooner. Come on, scientists, get your game together. Coming in at number seven, we've got the Pinocchio frog. Ah, look at him. Right. Facts. Facts. Okay. Okay. Well, the Pinocchio frog was first discovered by accident in 2010 after it wandered into a research camp in Indonesia and sat on top of a bag of rice. It's almost like it wanted to be discovered. Maybe it wanted to go to Hollywood. Maybe it wanted to have its own record deal and a book out. Who knows? Its nose is obviously the reason why it got its nickname of Pinocchio and scientists aren't exactly sure what it's used for, but they think the frog inflates it to amplify their mating call. Go you, Pinocchio frog. Staying cute now at number six, guys, we've got the tiny Titi monkey. This reddish brown monkey was discovered deep in the jungle of Peru by a Dutch primatologist in 2013. They're smaller than a cat, eat mainly fruit and make for life, and have been known to adopt the young of other monkeys in times of survival. Only 21 new species of primates have been found since 2000, so this was kind of a big deal. Another nickname for this animal is also the red bearded Titi monkey, which I've actually been called quite a few times, I have to say. Halfway through now at number five, and we've got the Bone House Wasp. It looks like the venom of the wasp world and was discovered in the southeast coast of China in 2014. Scientists were amazed when they found out how this thing feeds its young. It gets its Bone House name from the fact that it seals in the nest where it lays its eggs with up to 13 dead ants. Scientists think they do this because other insects will smell the dead ants and stay away from the nest and not eat the eggs. Smart. But I think they might just be really grossed out by it. They probably see the dead ants and they're like, oh god, do you know what? Forget it. I'm not even hungry anymore. Oof. At number four, we've got the tiniest snail on the planet. It was identified in 2015 as Angustopila dominarche and measured an astonishing 0.88 millimeters across. At first, they thought it was a young specimen, but nope, that's actually an adult. It's smaller than the head of a match and small enough to fit through the eye of a needle. In fact, that's probably one of the reasons why it was so hard to find until now. This thing is tiny. But scientists also think that might be the reason why it survived up to this point. It's just too small to hurt or hunt it. Oh, and it can also change its gender seemingly whenever it needs to. Yeah, I think we might have to do a whole other video about these guys. Coming in number three now, we've got the Olingito. This is the first mammal carnivore species to be identified in the Americas in 35 years. So its discovery caused quite a buzz. It was discovered in 2013 in Ecuador and was found to be about two and a half meters long 
strong from tail to tip and weighed about two pounds. So that's slightly less than your average house cat and this animal actually belongs to the raccoon family. It was actually spotted quite a few times before but scientists mistakenly identified it as belonging to a different species. So who knows guys, go and get your brothers and sisters checked out because they might be a different species after all. At number two, we've got the glowing sea slug, otherwise known as the Philodesmium acanthorinum. This incredible looking sea creature was discovered off the coast of Japan in 2015 and the world couldn't believe their eyes. They are just 17 to 28 millimeters in size and also an amazing example of a species that has a symbiotic relationship with another. Their gut actually contains a type of algae that uses them as a home. And in return, the algae turn light into energy for the slug using photosynthesis. Teamwork. And finally at number one guys, we've got another glower, but this time it's a bit bigger. We're talking about the glowing turtle. The Hawksbill turtle was discovered near the Solomon Islands in September 2015 and is the first ever case of a glowing reptile. Scientists were amazed to see the turtle exhibiting biofluorescence, which is the ability to reflect light and re-emit it as a different colour. These images you're seeing were captured by a diving team who thought it looked a bit like a UFO, but by the time they tried to follow it, it had already swam back into the darkness. All these animals are so cool, it makes you want to go out right now into the wilderness and discover a whole new species. It's kind of like Pokemon, except I don't want to make them fight each other. That would be kind of harsh. Well guys, let me know which one of these was your favourite. Also let me know down below if you know of any other new cool species that have been found in recent years. Maybe you are an undiscovered species watching this. Even if you are, let me know down below. Either way guys, that's all we've got time for. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and there's two more videos floating over there if you want to keep going and watching more right away in the meantime thanks for watching most amazing top 10 guys we're loving doing these for you and we appreciate all the support my name is Danny Burke if you want to follow me on Instagram you can find it down there and I'll see you guys soon